Welcome back to the channel and today a quick update to start with is the R50 Mini that we was doing has died basically. It's gone to the scrapyard in the sky and it's finally gone. Basically the engine was knackered and it was just not economical to repair the thing. However, we've done something rather stupid and bought another one. So exterior wise it looks pretty smart however the first issue we've noticed is the front end. The front bumper has got a crack in it and it's got a few scuffs. The, the grill seems to come off. Um, quite easy. We don't know the trim level of this car however it's got bi-xenons so we're expecting it to be quite high. Issue 2. The side din. So this fender we've looked on eBay and it's about 60 quid. However, I kind of think it will come out, or at least it will look better than it is. Because the paint's not cracked at all, so I think give it a whack, it'll be alright. And then the panel gap on the bonnet. So I think what's happened is they've hit the front end, even though it's not recorded accident damage. Damaged. But yeah, fairly minor stuff. And a scuffed alloy. I quite like that. That's badass. So that's the boot on the clubman. Not a great deal of room. So we've got a net. Mobility scooter. We've got a Chavy tow hook locking bolts. So we know it was being used locally up until the 9th of June. It's now September. Looks new. It says BMW on it. That comes standard. Yeah, but you don't get a spare wheel. This is your spare wheel. Rather strangely, I never noticed this on a clubman before, is the suicide rear door. However, it's only on the one side. This is the first time I'm getting inside, by the way. It's got the black half leather interior. Looks badass. <laughs> Mesmerised. Yeah. I quite like the black. Even black roof lining. Yes, yeah, black roof lining, half black leather. It's a six speed, it's got auto climate, looks like it's got the sat nav, maybe it don't. The black steering wheel is much better than the R56 grey one, isn't it? Yeah, it's facelift. Basically it's a mini interior, needs a clean. Yeah, it's ditched. That is cool! So normally, when you the sun's in your eyes, you pull these off, but as you sit so far back, this one has been over engineered and added a second one. If you know all about Clubmans, that's probably not new to you. But to us, we've never seen that before. A mini manual. Sitting there in Sheffield. I don't like these keys personally. But, oh, yeah, I can't, I don't fit. Oh. Yeah, there isn't a great deal of room. Yeah, it's dark as hell, but we'll roll with it. Has it got sat nav? No. No. So, no sat nav. So it then, got ripped off. It's got radio there. Most cars got radio. <laughs> got Bluetooth audio, so that's uh, not too bad. Turn the lights on, I want to see the uh, ring light up. Isn't that standard? 
Yeah, probably. Can you change that colour, the purple? I'm not a fan. It has got stop start, which everyone turns off anyway. And it's done 132,000. It has Sitna, but it has BMW Services Street up until 108,000. I don't like the blue. It, well, it's purple. Yeah, I don't like the purple, that's what I said. Yeah, there's got to be a way you can change that, considering it flashes like green, red and all manner. Looks like we've got a few errors here now. <laughs> outside temperature. Maybe it's just telling us there's a temperature outside. Parking light, front left aisle. Can you believe how much fuel's been left in it, though? That's unheard of. Basically, that fuel is what we paid for the car. <laughs> yeah, let's figure out how you change this purple. This, this, there's got to be a way. I don't like that. What I don't like this in, say, the F30. It's a proper dial. Whereas this, you just got some tiny knob to play with. I mean, it's pretty basic, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a similar sort of thing to what the F30 is or Luna, as in it's a multifunctional display without the sat nav. So it has got Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Light colour. Please repeat. Light colour. Voice commands. In this menu, you can say only short commands. For example, main menu or radio. Radio. Lights. Radio menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have no idea anyway you changed these uh, purple lights. but. So that's half an hour as to just trying to change these lights. Yeah, I got carried away there. No switches, the two in the middle. These? Yeah. What about the one on the left? I don't know, but you don't get a sun visor on the passenger side, you only get a handle. Slightly disappointed. Look at that light, that's green! Shall we start it? Yeah, let, let's start, start it up. We've got a slight rattle. The light's knackered. The traction control's knackered. The flat tyre pressure's gone. The wipers work. I didn't touch the wipers. What did you do? I unplugged this. Well, plug it back in. Does it stop? That's it. We might have an electrical fault. It's got an auto dipping rear view mirror. Yeah, but think about it. It's from 2010. Look at Herschel. 2003. Rain sensors. Yeah, they don't need rain sensors. They come on all the time anyway. <laughs> Preemptive. Knows before you do. It's going to rain. So yeah, that's the interior of the new Clubman. Yeah, we haven't really shown it. Let's be honest. So it's got a multifunctional radio with no sat-nav. It's got Bluetooth, which is all that I actually want anyway. Cruise control. Cruise control, which I don't actually like. It's got auto climate. And the aircon air seems to work. So yeah. Got cup holders that look decent. Pretty much identical to the R50 ones, really. What's this? What the hell? What have you done? Look at that. Get off. What is going on here? You bust it. It's coming off. You bust it. No, no. What? What have you done? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. If Clearly, there's not an awful lot of room in the back of here. Why? There looks like there's plenty of room. Oh well, yeah, look at this. Do you really think... Would you have your seat position right there? No, I'd go back a bit. Well, go back to where you were. Well, look at that then. I'm basically cramped up. Like, this is all I've got. Like, if I... If you crash, that's it. I'm dead. Why? I don't crash. You're not even... You sit on a weird angle as well. You wouldn't get your golf clubs in there, would you? <laughs> right, let's have a look in the engine bay. Wait, we have got to fix this. This mess that you've made. What have you done? I don't know what you've done. Just put it all back together, will you? Try it's supposed to come off. Try and sabotage my car, I think. Just get off, will oh, you? Jesus Christ. Now nah, look. Just give it here. Nah, I'll nah. have it on in 30 seconds. Nah. <laughs> Piece of shit. Look at that, I've got it back on. Apparently, the Clubman came with two different engines prior to 20... September 2010. Yeah, prior to September 2010, it came with a PSA Peugeot engine. So we all know Peugeot is naff. Oh, damn it!
after that, BMW made their own engine for the 1.6 diesel, which this is. With any luck, this is the BMW one. If it's Peugeot one, we'll just have to scrap it. Yeah, it's the BMW one. So basically, we've got a BMW engine. Yeah, the way you know is because the turbo sits at the rear on the BMW one and the PSA sits at the front. Yeah, and the oil filter on most BMWs are in a place you can get to, whereas the on the Ford engine, or well, the PSA engine, it's right under the engine. You have to be missed tickled to get to it. I wonder if they put a cover on it. <laughs> Not the most pretty engine to look at. Shall we remove the airbox to see what the filter looks like? It's a good indication if the car's been looked after. Well, the alternator looks decent. Oh, you just snapped the grill now. Oh, screw the thing. You bust me on, rest. Bust the grill. I'll have some horse and cart now. <laughs> now, look. You pulled it off. It fell off. Oh, a bit of duct tape will solve that. Right, yeah, let's remove the filter then. Jesus Christ, that looks bad. That's a weird looking air filter actually. I've never seen one like that. Yeah, just pull it out. That is weird. I think it was a... Uh... So it's a man filter. I don't think it's been done for a while. Well, it definitely doesn't look it. So yeah, I'll have to replace that. Well, it needs full service really. Yeah, it needs full service. The coolant looks black. I'm not touching coolant. I don't like coolant. Open the lid. The engine's warm. Barely. Well, you open the blue thing then. Well, I will then. I'll that. Yeah, that's basically... Uh, Get the turkey basta. That's black. Yeah, where is it? Took it out then. It's purple like blue lights. <laughs> but the good news is... It's a BMW engine. Yeah, that's uh, great news. It's basically gone up in value. Yeah. Just by collecting it and finding out. The alternator's already been replaced. Apparently Pulley has as well, but there's a squeal on startup, so I'm just glad it's a BMW engine. I know, can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> it does say August 10 there. I mean it was a Persia engine though. Well that could just mean it didn't go in this one. So we've got a full BMW Mini, not a... Uh, one crippled by a Peugeot engine. We'll find out what trim it is. Cause it's got Xenons, which some new Minis, like the works, don't come with Xenons. Yeah, it's not extra for some reason, whereas most cars you get it anyway. Same as M Sport Beamers, sometimes come without Xenons. Like, what's the point? Why buy a car without Xenons or LEDs now? You might as well just drive into a canal, wait for a boat to take you out at one mile an hour. So, yeah, we bought a Mini Clubman. Compared to the R50, this interior is much better. This feels more like BMW to me. Yeah, I'm a fan of it. It looks clean, simplistic. <laughs> oh no. Looks like we've got a few issues. 31, 37, uh, 40. Well, 40, 45 isn't that bad. Very bad. Yeah, so we're using Carly and the Carly adapter. And this is Carly's verdict on our new car. <laughs> Why did it do it again? We seem to have a... Let's go with it. So we've got air conditioning. Rear blowers. This might take some research. Basically, I don't know what any of this means. A well, particulate system, no surprise. So we definitely have a few issues to resolve. Hopefully, by the time you see it, we'll have some idea where to start. Yeah, it's basically adapted. I told you the BMW engine was a bad idea. Good thing with Carly is we can code mm. this one. We decided to put the car in the air and have a quick look. We found the tyres are in great condition, as you can see. There seem to be uh, the cords. So somehow this car, its last MOT, said passed. It passed its MOT, but the advisory was bold in the edge. Whereas you'd get three points for driving with a bold in the edge. So we're not sure 
why it fast? We think it needs at least two tyres. These are ditch finders, so it'll probably be four new ones on order. They're old anyway, they're all cracked on the older edge as well. Another bolt tyre up front, and then the tie rods. We'll probably do the inner and outer for the drivers and the passenger side, just while we're doing it, and the tracking is done anyway, to solve this bolt tyre issue. Underneath don't look too bad, realistically. Got a bit of rust on the subframe, which I'm pretty sure has to come out to do the clutch anyway. So as it'll probably take us a month, we might as well get that powder coated. So we're going to do the drop links, the tie rod in and out, uh, get the tracking done. Bit of scuffing. This. I know, I know it's that. It's as if it's like some... It's been filled. Yeah. And it looks like it's been patched over. So maybe someone sumped it by flying over a speed hump. So this was being driven up until June and these tyres are bold. You wouldn't do that between March and June. Well, I, I suppose you could do it, but... I'm not. Well, I suppose <laughs> the clutch is knackered, so if they've been drifting around, then possibly. I'm not looking forward to the clutch. Yeah, I think I'll watch. So in like other news, we're going to be rebuilding the E39 rear end. And our, our, our idea with the rear end is to powder coat the subframe that is coming off to change the bushings bright pink. STI pink, so it ties in with something else you never see, the <laughs> Scooby. So on the 30, I want everything colour coded as on word like that. If we ever get around to it anyway. Yeah, so the E30 parts we'll uh, mention in a update video, but they're all red and it took like six weeks, I think. <laughs> Every... Cheap though. Well, yeah, it was cheap, but you have to wait for it. So that's the underside of the R55 Clubman. So we need new clutch, uh, flywheel and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so two new tyre rods, four, four new drop links. Four new tyres, an ambient temperature sensor, as this one's knackered wherever it is. This is. So the ambient temperature sensor is reading minus 40. While it is getting colder, I'm not quite sure, it's Arctic temperatures. So we think that could be throwing off a couple of other things, like the DPF and the EGR. Yeah, so really not that. Well, it is done, in theory. In the scheme of things, there's not much to do. In our case, it'll probably take a while. But we'll uh, try and have it done in a month. So it'll be ready for October 1st. That's the deadline. And it's September 5th now. Which everyone's thinking, oh, that's loads of time, when for us it's not loads of time. Yeah, that's a bit ambitious, really. We have to get three Saturdays a month to do something. The rest of the time, it's just busy. What do you think we should do to the club, man? We're open to suggestions. Please let us know below. But it's staying standard for the most part. The cars have to stay as close to stock as possible, maybe tastefully modified. Yeah, maybe some uh, nice suspension, slightly better than the Cooper S. Maybe. Meant to be a daily. Yeah, we just get carried away. Yeah, the daily <laughs> turns into a project, and then we can't finish the actual project. So this is the daily, so it just needs to get to a standard. As in, at the minute, it can't be driven because the clutch is so bad, and the tyres are knackered. So... And it's lit. I'm coolant. It's always coolant. I hate this stuff. Oh, God. Uh, I just don't like coolant. You're triggered for the rest of the day now. <laughs> After further research, this is a Mini Cooper D Soho edition, which means... It's got the black xenons, the black roof, the black headline in the black mirrors. The chrome exhaust tip. Yeah. Black star, was it? Yeah, the BBS black star alloys. According to the spec sheet, this does 70 odd miles to a gallon, somehow. Yeah, it's getting 35.7 at the minute. But then the tyres and the tracking. And the DPF and the EGR and the temp sensors are all knackered, so that's probably something to do with it. Do you think this was a good idea buying the R55? I was told about it Thursday, as in the conversation went, there's not, there's a mini clubman for sale, do you want it? That was it. I said probably. Friday. <laughs> so you know you've got a problem. <laughs> Friday, uh, I got the price he wanted and we came down 100 quid and I said, yes, we'll have it. Now, still without seeing it. Well, I saw some pictures. Yeah, it was shit ones. Yeah, pictures weren't great. I was told it needed a clutch. That's about it. Yeah. Then we... Texted delivery, dude. Yeah. Delivery, dude. And he dropped it off Saturday, which is today. So, 
Yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> so the guy that we bought it from said he was quoted 700 quid to do the clutch. Which I don't think it's that bad. Because apparently it is labour intensive. I think the house was probably the better buy, but... How was it? No, if anything, Monroe was a better buy. Because to buy that now is probably double, at least. How was the price for Monroe? We paid 2,300 for the E30. Yeah, what a hell of a trip that was. <laughs> yeah, to London. Herschel's in a completely different league to this. What do you think? Do you think Herschel's better, the E39? Yeah. Or we've not got a name for the clubman yet. It's definitely a female. Vlad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute, I'll call it one. Snow White. Why Snow White? Because it's white. It's silver. No, it's white. It's silver. Snow White. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Sit there, it's decided. No, I don't like Snow White. No, I've christened it. No. Yeah, when I christen the car, that's it. No. Snow White. No. If five people agree that we should call this car Snow White. Yeah, five people. Five people. We're well, aim low. There's no one watches anyway. <laughs> <laughs> then it's Snow White. Otherwise, it's Vlad. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's Snow White. Vlad. No. Vlad. She's a strong woman. Vlad. No. Vlad the Impaler. No. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Vlad. I have to call it Ho. The Ho's playing up again. <laughs> the, the Ho's leaking. Unless five people agree it's not Snow White. Admit it. You like the name. It, it's, no. it's a good name. No, I don't. Yeah. No. I am literally... But, you know, no point waffling on. Uh, it's time to end. If you like the video, like, subscribe. If you didn't, comment below. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you on about what am I doing? Just sat there with a net on your head. I found it in the boot. <laughs> this must be what it's for. <laughs> this ain't my first